Merry Christmas, geeks! Today on the show, we're going to take a look at one of the Christmas presents I got from my wife. We celebrated Christmas yesterday because she has to work today. And what we're looking at today is this beauty right here. Dr. Peter Venkman with the Firehouse. This is Pop Town number three from Ghostbusters 35th anniversary. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I really like it. Only problem is I now have to find a place to display it. As you can see my Ghostbusters display back here. Uh, I'm gonna have to clear some space right up here. Uh, find a new spot for my Voltron, my Gremlin and Chucky. Uh, maybe even find a new place for my cups there. All right, guys, so here we have Dr. Peter Venkman with Firehouse. Pop Town number three. And as you can see, <clears> here's the front. We've got the Pop Town logo, Dr. Peter Venkman with Firehouse, final figures, figurines in vinyl, figuras de venin. Number three. We've got the top, got a nice little window there on the top so you can see through there. We've got the side here, the rest of the uh, front window. Uh, we've got the side and then there's the back got the ghostbusters 35 anniversary logo uh we got dr peter bankman firehouse we have number 743 which is egon spangler 744 dr peter bankman 745 ray stands 746 winston zedmore 747 is slimer 748 is the scary library ghost now I have all these except for those two there. Uh, eventually, probably here within the next uh, few weeks or whatever, uh, I may be getting the last two there. Uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and take a look at this pop, these pops, since there's technically two of them. We'll go ahead and open it up and take a look inside. As you can see, Dr. Peter Venkman and the Firehouse come in a clamshell. Uh, it's not a attached clamshell. It's two separate pieces that snap together. <clears throat> and as you can see, let's go ahead and back them up a little bit. Dr. Venkman is covered in marshmallow. <laughs> Not as much as the other guys were at the end of the mo first movie, but he is covered in marshmallow. And I'm not sure why they did that with this one. Um, they could have probably released him with maybe a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man or something and had the same effect. Um, I don't know, maybe... Uh, there's there's so many things they could have done personally if i were in charge of it i would have released the firehouse with maybe ray or egon um maybe in there maybe egon in his lab lab coat uh but this is good nonetheless uh peter vingman was always my favorite of the ghostbusters uh, i'm not sure why uh, he's maybe it's because he's everything I'm not I don't know <laughs> um, so anyway let's go ahead and take a look at him see here he's got his proton wand attached to his belt rather than to the pack itself this is something I wish they'd actually do with the figures make him, make him able to attach it to his belt uh, the No Ghost logo is pretty solid there, as you can see. Uh, the marshmallow isn't painted on, it's 
it's actually molded on there they didn't do that great of a job painting it though as you can see there's a lot of bleed off love the uh the kind of scorch marks on his face and dirt overall the paint's pretty solid on the stand on the main figure got a little bit of bleeding off on the hairline in the back um and then like i said bleed off from the marshmallow overall pretty good the pack itself is in it looks great it's a great sculpt you see uh that should be gray or blue though i think gray and then in the second movie they made it like a light blue i believe uh, but the pack looks really good really nice very impressed by it his head does go full 360 degrees let's go ahead and set him off to the side and he is pretty top heavy i'm surprised they didn't include a stand with him uh, there we go and take a look at the firehouse the paint application is really good on this firehouse i haven't been able to find much bleeding off at all really um, you can't really see inside of it there's a plastic window here but it's mainly reflective uh, Yeah, it's just a thinner plastic. It's not an actual window just made to look like it. Got the no ghost sign there up front, which is really nice. It's really nice and crisp and sharp. You got some slime coming through the back window here. Got looks like it may be a side door now this no ghost sign the post does seem pretty brittle so I wouldn't try to wiggle that too much there's the back the brickwork is really nice on this building really nice um, since they included this with Dr. Venkman, they could have probably included the hole in the top and show energy, ghost energy inside there. That would have fit better with this Peter Venkman as opposed to just the standard firehouse. Um, but overall, I really like this. I'm going to display it in the box just like the rest of my pops. And... Uh, yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this review i hope you guys are having a very merry christmas and a happy new year take care geeks if you enjoyed that video make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture also go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched I'm Shannon for Comic Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.